All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back, right? Got another video for you. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Cadillac Escalade versus the Chevrolet Suburban. So stay with us, we're gonna have a little fun. We're gonna talk about both vehicles, kind of look at the differences, and, uh, and I'd like to give you some of my perspective on both of these vehicles in the used car market right now in 2021. So stay with us right here today on CCV. All right, everybody, so we're gonna go ahead and walk over to the Chevrolet Suburban. It's a 2017 black with the black interior. This would be a great versus video because both vehicles are pretty much almost identical as far as color combinations go. And both of them are in beautiful condition, right? Um, they both also have just around 100,000 miles, just a little under. I think the Escalade is around 98,000, or I think this one's around 93,000 miles. So not a whole lot of difference as far as mileage is concerned. But there is a lot of differences in the actual two vehicles, and that's kind of what I want to show you today so you can kind of have a little bit better understanding on maybe which one you want. And uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and hop in the Suburban here. Both are super, super, super nice vehicles though. And uh, you know, here's the thing. We've had the Suburban, let's just say, I don't know the exact numbers, but let's say we've had the Suburban out here for a month and a half now, right? For sale. And we've had maybe a few people, you know, inquire about it. We've had the Cadillac Escalade now about a week. And we have probably had three to four times the amount of people that have looked at this, look at that. It's insane. The Escalade today has already had uh, one husband and wife come by and look at it, which also were here yesterday looking at it. Um, yesterday, I had two different people stop by other than the husband and wife. So that's three groups of customers looking at the Escalade. And then Saturday, I had two different groups of customers. It's crazy. I mean, the Escalade gets crazy amounts of customers wanting to buy them. But then you got this gorgeous 2017 Suburban Premier sitting over here and not a whole lot of people seem to be somewhat interested in it. The other thing too, at first, I thought about this car before we had the Escalade, I thought, well, you know, maybe the reason we don't get a lot of people, you know, looking at it is because of the price, right? You know, it's a, um, it's 2017 with 93,000 miles on it, and it's, you know, around $42,000. Well, the Escalade is a 2015 model with around the same mileage for around the same price. I think the Escalade is maybe maybe two, three hundred dollars difference in price. So obviously it's not the price. All right, everybody. So let's start walking through and kind of looking at the Suburban and then we'll roll over to the Escalade here in just a moment. I'm going to show you kind of what I see that's really the main differences in the two vehicles starting out. And I'll tell you some of the reasons why I think maybe the Escalade just gets so many more people coming in on it, even though both of these vehicles, even this one's just a little bit newer, two years newer and around the same price, right? Well, first off, the front, right? The Escalade has that beautiful front grille on it that just looks expensive. And again, the Escalade badge on the front. But I can't tell you that the Suburban here doesn't have a good looking front end, because it absolutely does. It's all chrome, it's got these good looking headlights, and you can't go wrong with the gold Chevy bow tie. But there's just something about that Escalade, and I'll tell you, it's those headlights on the Escalade where they're all LED. I mean, this definitely has LEDs as well right in here and all that, but it's just a little bit different setup on the Escalade, right? But again, to each his own, you know? Some people might rather have a Suburban versus an Escalade. Maybe the Escalade's just a little too much uh, pizzazz going on, right? But again, it's to each his own. Um, this one has the 20 inch five star polished aluminum alloy wheels, which I've always been a fan of the, of these wheels. They look good. They're clean. They're not too over the top. The Escalade is going to be pumping out some 22s with chrome and silver, and they just, they look a lot more expensive compared to these right here. All right. 
under the hood, right? This is gonna have your legendary 5.3 liter V8 Vortec motor. Well, if you wanted to buy yourself a Denali package or an Escalade in one of these types of vehicles, well, you're bumping up to a 6.2 liter Vortec. So, I think they might call this, you know, yeah, this is the 5.3, that one's the 6.2. So the 6.2 definitely is gonna drink a lot more gas, but definitely have more horsepower and torque and towing capacity. But again, the 5.3, it's a great engine. It's lasted for many years in many other vehicles, whether they're Silverados and old school Suburbans, whatever, the 5.3 Vortex is a great motor. And I guess the 6.2 is a great motor as well. But again, a little bit better fuel economy. The other one though, has got all the power and all the punch and all that so you got to think which one you want um, as far as options are concerned I mean this has just got stationary running boards on the bottom they don't go in or out the Escalade's got the retractable ones now you do need to think about that for a minute you know once the car gets a bit older you know does it concern you with those retractable running boards that maybe they could stop working at some point or another at least with those they're never going to have an issue with that so there's probably some tech technology or some electrical things on the Escalade I would say that could get quite expensive to start fixing and things later down the road compared to the Suburban here not having as much of that stuff but believe me the Suburban is not a base model vehicle and especially this one it's a premier package it's got a lot of great features on it um, I also like that they, that Chevy still has a little blinker right here in the mirror you do got blind spot this one's already got tinted windows a little darker on the back than on the front all right but essentially, the Escalade and the Suburban, same, same size and everything, really. It's just the Escalade is more, more prestigious, I would say, right? All right, moving right along. Suburban's got your traditional backup camera. Escalade's going to have a 360 degree camera system on it. That means you got a camera in the front, cameras on the mirrors, and in the back. So when you're parking, you can see everywhere. This 2017 Suburban, from what I'm gathering, just has the rear backup camera. So, you know, all those things, you got to figure out, is it really worth to you? To, to have all those extras. A lot of people probably say, yeah. Um, as far as cargo space is concerned, they're both pretty much about the same. Um, this one's got all the power buttons for back here, WeatherTech mats, and again, of course, the power tailgate button right there. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the interior, and then we're gonna walk over to the Escalade here in just a minute and see what that one's got going on. Now I will tell you, the interior, this one has got all leather, right? They wrap leather up onto here, leather's in here, here, lots of storage areas and all that. The Escalade's gonna have, where this one has leather, the Escalade's gonna have leather but also have suede, right? We got Captain Row seats in the back on the Suburban, which look really nice. These, this Suburban's actually in beautiful condition. Um, now one thing on this one, it has no TVs in it at all. The Escalade has a TV here, there, and then two in the headrests. Now you can get a Suburban with TVs up top and in the headrests and all too. So that's not an issue, but maybe when someone spec this one out and built it back in the day when it was new, they just didn't add all that stuff in. You know, most kids today got iPads and tablets and phones. They're not really concerned about looking at the top of the roof at the uh, Blu-ray player. But anyways, it's nice to have though if you have it. This one does have rear heated seats as well. And uh, I love the WeatherTech mats all the way around. Let's look up here, right? You got the Bose stereo, that's a plus. You got power seats, heated seats, and cooled seats. You'll have that on the Suburban and the Escalade. And again, the roof in the Escalade is all black suede. This one's got the gray cloth with the sunroof. They're both going to have OnStar. Now, one feature I noticed, and I'll show you real quickly here. One feature that I like that the Suburban has that the Escalade does not have, and maybe the Escalade does have it, but I just couldn't find the button for it, is this feature right here. I love how that opens up, and you could throw your wallet in there, your phone, you know, whatever you want to throw in there, you could throw in there. It even has a charging port, if you can see that. There you go, right there in the back. I did not see that feature on the Escalade, so that's that's one thing you don't have. And it's probably because the way the Cadillac 
is set up with the screen and all. It just it doesn't have the you know option to be able to open it up like that. Um, it does have a start stop button, dual climate, heated and cooled seats, and uh, yeah. The Suburban is going to have your traditional uh, gauges and all, and then an LCD screen right through the middle. I just realized my camera is not showing you that. There you go. So that's what it's like on the Suburban. Escalade, of course, is going to have an all LCD screen right here in the middle. Again, think about it, you know, are those things that you're going to be concerned will have problems later down the road, right? You know, what, what do you do if your Escalade, you know, screen right here just glitches out or, or something like that? Um, again, with this car, you don't have to worry about that as much. As far as comfort's concerned, though, the, Cat or the Escalade and the Suburban are super comfortable. Plenty of room. You still got your uh, wireless charger here. You know, a huge area to store stuff. The Escalade actually has a cool box in there, which is like a little, it stays cold. You can throw, you know, throw a bottle of water or whatever you want in there. This doesn't have that. The Escalade also in the cup holders here has little metal things down there to heat up the cup holders or keep the bottle waters cold. I think it does either or possibly. But again, this doesn't have that. So it's got a lot of extras on the Escalade that you just don't get on this car. But in reality, do you, you know, it's one thing if you are coming out of a vehicle that already has all that kind of stuff, and maybe you're used to having all that kind of stuff, you know, and you don't want to lose the things that you had on your Mercedes or whatever car it is, right? Um, but, you know, if you've never had some of that stuff before, it's nice to get those extra perks on the next vehicle, but in reality, do you really need all the extra stuff? I don't know. It's up to you. That's all I got to say about it. All right, so that's that's the Suburban in a nutshell. Let's go take a look at the Escalade. We also have a 2017 Ford Expedition EL Limited, which is pretty much the loaded up version of the Expedition in 2017. And we have had actually several customers stop by and look at that. And I would say the reason behind that is the price. That vehicle, a 2017, is 229. It does have a lot more mileage though, at 160 or so thousand miles on it. But people do like expeditions. Now I will tell you from doing past videos, one of my big viewed videos, over 200,000 views, big for me at least on CCV, is me doing a brand new expedition video back in I think 2018 when the new body style came out. Now I will tell you, those newer body style expeditions really tickle my fancy. I mean, those things are really, 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 really nice. And I was super glad to see that Ford kind of bumped it up a bit back when they came out with this most latest body style of the expedition. I've never had the pleasure to look at a Navigator, but finally, all these years later, I, this is one thing I used to kind of talk about is uh, five, six years ago, was that we had a Cadillac store in Charleston you know, Cadillac finally had its own, you know, Cadillac has its own rooftop, their own dealership, and Ford or, or Lincoln did not have that. They just had the Lincolns out there at the Ford store. But finally, I think about a year, year and a half ago, they built a Lincoln store. So Lincoln's finally got its own store. I would love to go over there one day and check the Lincoln store out and maybe even do a review of some of those vehicles, but that's later down the road. Right now, let's go ahead and walk over, take a look at the Escalade. But what do you think? You know, if you're watching these videos, would you consider a new Lincoln Navigator? Or maybe an Escalade or an Expedition? You know, what American full-size SUV is the one that stands out the most to you? Some people are die-hard Ford people and will only drive Fords, and some are Chevy, General Motors, that kind of thing. All right, there's that beautiful Escalade. Let's take a look at it. So as I spoke about earlier, and I'll go back through real quickly and just kind of give you an idea of what we were talking about. There's the 22 inch rims, which actually are a really good looking wheel. I like how, how they put the chrome here and then the silver there, right? So it's a nice looking wheel. And 22s definitely fit up nicely on such a big vehicle. But though, I will tell you, maybe, just maybe, maybe the 20 inch rim on the Suburban with a fatter tire on it, maybe that'll give you a little bit better ride quality. 
I don't know, you know? Suspensions and all that stuff should be fine on the Escalade to handle what we got going on here. But there's that front end we're talking about, right? It just, it's got its own look about it. And uh, there's a the little camera we're talking about, the massive size Cadillac medallion on the front, the headlights, all LED. They just look expensive. It's kind of like a guy that walks up and's got a got a tag or a Rolex watch on versus a Casio, you know? It's it's got that expensive look to it. And I really think that's kind of why so many more people people's attention get drawn over to this. Um, moving right along, right? They put all the chrome accents in the right spots, though. I mean, I love how that's there. The body side molding on the handles around the windows, right? Now, this one doesn't have any tint on the front windows. The rears are tinted, of course. And then I do like the taillights on the Escalade. I mean, they're massive in size. They start here and go all the way down. Some people may say that's a bit much, but again, as I spoke about on the car review of this thing, at nighttime, I mean, you, you can't miss an Escalade coming down the road. I mean, you just, you know Cadillac's that company, it's just got that massive LED taillight. I don't think there's any other uh, SUVs out there with one so big. That's a beautiful vehicle, it really is. Now this is a 2015. So, yeah, it's, it's a good looking vehicle. It's got a nice look about it. And I think that's why so many people uh, really want it. Yeah, and still, it's not cheap, folks. I think new, these are probably 80 to a 90 or maybe even more. Premier package, I'm not even sure, probably over $90,000. Um, this one, same exact storage space, same buttons as you saw earlier, but it does have the suede up on the roof line there, which is nice. And then you can open this up and you got your, you know, a little bit of storage and stuff like that under there. And then the button and all right here is exactly the same. So that's kind of nice. And then moving right along in the back. And there's those retractable running boards we were talking about. But check this out. See, that's what I'm talking about. You got leather, suede, wood trim. All right, let's look up top here. So you got, you got one, one TV here. And you got another one here. And then you got one there, one there. So you got a total of four televisions. And then there's the whole interior setup on the dash. Wow, is that not beautiful? I mean, this definitely is the flagship of American SUVs, right? At least it is right now. Now, the Navigator probably, you know, is a flagship of American SUVs as well. But Cadillac's just really done a great job of you know making a name for themselves <laughs> way before my time i mean i'm only 40 and uh, they've been around quite a while the one thing i thought was kind of neat which i kind of liked on the escalade was just a little something a little the little fine details but all these little dots on the headrest look kind of neat to me um got the little logo there and all that and then uh, the key is in my pocket, but we're gonna go ahead and hop in real quick. There's the, the heaters or the coolers for the cups. The display screens and all are very vibrant. Now, a little bit, I personally, just personally between me and you, I like having a knob to turn. This is not my favorite having to tap on these little things right here. See, I'm tapping and it's not doing, it's not turning my volume down the way I want it to. It's just a little annoying. I'd rather have a little dial. Probably just the newness of me clicking on things, but I'd rather just come over here and do it like this. You do have your screen right there that's all LCD. Again, this doesn't move up, okay, to store anything. And there's a little button right here to get in the glove box because there's no actual like thing to pull down on, which is kind of nice. Reminds me of the Audi Q7, same kind of thing going on. And then again, in here, you got this really cool box here, which actually is a little cool in there right now, which is really, really nice. But it does take away if you want to store anything else in here. You'll have to store it in this box. 
Well, maybe. Is the box able to be pulled out? Nah, I don't know about that. All right, everybody. I just want to say thank you for watching this video created by me, Chad, at Charleston Car Deals and Southern Motor Company. Thank you. Have a blessed day. God bless America. And we'll see you all real soon. And don't forget to get in that comment section and let me know which vehicle you would like to buy or drive. However, you got to buy it, drive it though, right? And if you can, hit the like button and subscribe. We're almost to 50,000 subscribers. We're real close. If you haven't subscribed, you could really do a great job by helping me get the 50K, which is going to help this channel. Just keep on moving forward. Either way, I'm going to keep making videos. We'll see you soon.